I remember a time when I was a young writer. I was you know, trying to get published. I hadn't been published yet. And I was thinking perhaps, and my wife was on board, that I would go teach and write on the side, and maybe that's how I could work to get my career started and pay my way for that year, right? And all I wanted was a confirmation that that was good to do. My wife was pregnant. It was kind of going out on a limb to go do this. And so I just wanted to feel a yes from God that, that I was on the right track. I stayed up till midnight trying to get that yes. Midnight came and went. And, and I told myself, you know, I, I, I'm not going to bed until I get an answer. And finally, some point after midnight, I flipped the question and was like, am I just not supposed to do this? And it was this very clear yes. Wow. And, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> because I, there was like a lot riding on this. And it, was, it had been the plan. It was what made sense. It was what I'd studied out. It was what my wife thought was a good idea. Um, I didn't have a really clear plan B. And it ended up being a few weeks later that I got a job writing for Excel Entertainment that took me on this whole different path that kind of led me into getting my first book published. And so it was one of those things where it was a true leap of faith to, to trust that that yes answer actually came from God because it didn't make sense to my logical mind. And it taught me the lesson that sometimes the most important answers are the ones that don't make logical sense to us because God's taken us down a road we wouldn't have chosen on our own.